question. What is the most challenging thing you do every day, and what's the most dangerous? And while it's become second nature to a lot of us, researchers say it's driving. On the map already, Nebraska Medicine launching a new series of laboratories aimed at revolutionizing neurosciences here within the state. We put our own Jessica Gill behind the wheel to show us how it works. Many of us do it every day. And while we may not realize it, there's a lot that goes into driving. It's actually one of the best gauges of our cognitive capabilities. I'm getting past. With that being said, a more hands on approach to more in depth research has arrived at Nebraska Medicine. It's all a part of UNMC's new Mind and Brain Health Labs just launched this month. You can give a paper and pencil test and you can determine whether somebody has good attention or good spatial abilities, but how does that translate to walking in the real world or driving a car? Introducing Sensei, a high fidelity driving simulator aimed at measuring and diagnosing various neurological conditions. Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and stroke and multiple sclerosis. Inside Sensei, there are four different camera angles. That way, researchers can monitor things like foot activity, where your eyes are looking at the time and what your hands are doing when you're actually behind the wheel. This is one of the many tools that we apply to understand our patients better. With the ability to design any type of hazard or potential danger, experts think it'll better help them assess a patient's level of cognitive function, but is it any comparison to the real deal? Not exactly, and that may be the best part about it. The beauties of this simulator is you can go over and over again in dangerous situations, and crash and nothing happens and nobody gets hurt. Keeping the patient's well-being in clear sight and Nebraska medicine ahead of the curve. Something interesting with the launch of these labs. One of the top executives of Toyota actually made the trip all the way from Japan to see this simulator and gather all kinds of information. So not only is UNMC uh, paving the way for better neurological care, I guess you could say, it's also helping automakers design safer vehicles. Yeah, Jess, uh, very elaborate. Are there any other tools that make up these labs too? There are. UNMC also has actual on-the-road vehicles equipped with cameras and sensors. They also have these little boxes that can be installed into any vehicle, and those basically record all the data from any given driver. It really just depends on the situation and the person that the researchers are studying. Guys? All right, thanks. That's Jessica Gill reporting live tonight.